G'day guys, Willow here. Today I am going to make my Nana's Bolognese sauce. Uh, in this bowl I've got some of my dehydrated onion. Uh, I've got a cup. If you're using fresh onions you want a, uh, about three to four good fist size onions. Um, there is a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt, um, a teaspoon and a half of black pepper, a tablespoon of chives, a tablespoon of parsley, and a teaspoon of basil. And also, when I find it, I will also add um, two bay leaves to this. Um, we've got one yellow and red capsicum, or bell peppers, which is what you guys call them. Um, four mushrooms, mince. Now the tomato sauce, I usually have my own and it's a passata sauce, which is kind of a bit like a Napolitana sauce. Sorry, the light's not very good in here at the moment. I'm starting to lose it. So I went and brought commercial um, sauces for this so that if people want to make it they uh, can buy their own. Um, this is just a passata sauce. You want a litre of that. Um, I will eventually um, show you how I do my passata sauce when I get to it um, so that you can make your own. <coughs> but there are hundreds of recipes out there. Um, so you want a litre, at least, of passata sauce. This is a 400 gram can of crushed tomatoes and one snack pack of salt reduced or no added salt tomato paste. Um, I am going to brown my mince and I'm going to chop this up in my little bullet so that it's a lot finer and I'm also going to put it in my slow cooker. My grandmother used to do this on the stove top and she would have it slowly simmering away for at least um, at least two days. Um, I'm going to pop it in the slow cooker because I don't want to leave my stove going. So when I've done this and I've caught up to myself and I find some better light, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've turned my slow cooker on to start warming up while I'm finishing off the min. I'm also going to add my salt, sugar, pepper, basil, parsley, chives and dehydrated onions. Now you can add whatever you like. This is just what my grandmother's recipe book says. So. This is what I'm adding. And when my mince is done, we'll add that mince too. Is done. So we'll add that too. Now, some people um, throw the mince in raw. Some people boil the mince. I tend to and would rather brown the mince because it gives it more flavour um, and of course the longer you brown it the more caramelised the mince will get and the more yummy your bolognese will be. Now the other thing that my grandmother used to do was that she used to hide vegetables in there. Now I don't like mushrooms but my grandmother's bolognese sauce she always added mushrooms and it was nice. So I add the mushrooms even though I don't like it. Um, but she used to add carrots and pumpkin and she'd add silver beet and kale and all that sort of stuff. Um, so each to their own. Add what you like. Um, I'm just adding what my grandmother's recipe book says. Uh, 
crushed tomatoes. Now, with your bottles, you've got sauce left around the edges and stuff. Um, I usually put about this much water in one of them, rinse it out, tip it into the next one, and so on, until you've done all your bottles. And that's about how much water I add. I don't uh, add any more water in the first 24 hours. That's all there is to it. So now I'm going to let this stew away until I go to bed, which will probably be around about midnight. And it's now 7.30 in the evening. Go. I'll come back from time to time and show you, see how we're going. So until tomorrow, night night everybody. Good morning guys. Let's have a look and see how our bolognese sauce is going. Now this has been going for oh, about 12 hours now. Take the lid off. Um, the smell in here is absolutely amazing. Now, I've put no flour or anything in it. This is just thickened on its own. When you defog, Still got another 12 hours to go at least. That smells like my nan's kitchen. So, I'm going to add about a half a litre, 500 mils of um, water or stock of your choice beef, chicken, vegetable, veal, lamb doesn't matter and uh, let that go for another 12 hours hi guys another update now it's um I think it's nearly six o'clock at night. Um, you can see a tiny little pool of oil in the middle there. <laughs> it's defog. Okay. So I'm going to turn it off now and I'm going to leave it uh, until it gets cold and that little bit of oil that should set and uh, then I will scrape that off and discard that and tomorrow uh, we will bottle it and we will have a go at canning so see you tomorrow morning okay so we're at the following morning and I've just put my uh, mince bolognese sauce back in after it being in the fridge overnight I've got rid of the oil that was on the top I'm just waiting for it to heat up now so that I can uh, can it anyhow when that heats up we'll move on but I have set up my tray for my bottles my rings are ready to go my lids are ready to go in the pot of water 
my pots ready, checked all my pot, got all my gear ready to do my canning, got my weight, all my jars have just been washed and rinsed, uh, they're draining, I'll drain them for about 10 minutes while the oven is heating up and I'll put them in my tray in the oven until I am ready to use them. Okay, okay guys, let's start canning. So, this has now been heating up for probably about another hour or two. Um, so that's ready to go. Water and vinegar is ready to go. I'll set up all my cannon station. My lids are been there soaking away. I've got my water in here with me bit of vinegar, even though we have pretty clean water, so but vinegar's in there anyhow. Um, and I've also turned this on to start warming up the water. Jars are ready. Let's get to it. Radio. <laughs> now just as I've started videoing, I'm not sure if you can hear or not, that beep 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 beep, that's Mama Duck and her babies, they've come around for a feed. Jar number uno. Yes, Mama, I hear ya. Yes, Mama. You have to wait.
Okay. There's the first three. I'll keep going. Come back when I'm done. There we go. Six pint jars of bolognese sauce. Let's see how we go. Our water's in, our vinegar's in, and it's started to uh, heat up. I had the water heating up while I was uh, doing my bottles, just so that uh, hopefully it gives it a little bit of a kick start, because I think this is going to take a while to do its venting thing. So, let's get the lid on. Away we go. Okay. Everything's in, everything's on, everything's tightened down. Opposites to opposite. Let the gauge begin. I'll be back once I'm started venting. Okay, I'm not sure whether you guys can pick that up or not, but I've started venting. The steam's come out. Let's set the timer for 10 minutes. Okie dokie. Butter's gone off. It's been venting for 10 minutes. I want 10 pounds of pressure for my area. Check your books. And, uh, goes over there. And now we'll build pressure. Once this gauge reaches 10 pounds of pressure, then I start dialing down the uh, stove to help keep this gauge at 10 pounds. We'll come back when we've reached 10 pounds of pressure. Okay. We've reached 10 pounds of pressure and it's about to have its first little jiggle I think. Holding steady. Okay, time has gone off. So now turn the stove top off and we'll wait for the gauge to go back down to zero. like it's worked. Let's get them out, shall we? This looks like it worked really well. Uh, I can't wait to leave it for a, a week or two and then try it to uh, see what it's like. This was the whole reason why I got into doing this. Apart from trying to be a little more self-sufficient and being able to buy meats in bulk when they're on special um, to try and make things a, a little bit more budget friendly for myself. Um, there's a bolognese, commercial bolognese sauce that I buy 
which is nice and it's okay but uh, it's got preservatives and numbers and additives and all that sort of stuff and it's very salty so if this works I'll be a happy camper even if I only just do this because it's got more goodness in it than the commercial stuff that you can buy and when you make your own posada sauce and you can grow your own basil your own parsley your own onions your own garlic um, when you can grow it all and the only thing that you have to buy is your beef mince um, it makes it very economical so when these cool down we'll have a look there we are. I can't wait I can't wait to try it anyhow thanks for watching guys bye for now happy prepping okay guys I've taken my first oh, there it goes taken my first band off and I'm just cleaning around the edges with a toothbrush this toothbrush hasn't been used of course I got a 10 pack from my El Cheapo store for a dollar one bottle down I'm glad that all the all the oil has set and it's set around the edge of the jar so when I go to actually open it hopefully that will stay in the jar Nana's bolognese sauce I was kind of hesitant to uh, take the bands off in case they didn't work but they have all worked they've all sealed so when I've done all of these I'll throw this brush away because it's stained red it's not really good for anything else unless of course you want to go and clean your car with the toothbrush that's about all it's good for cleaning your tyres uh, I, I think who was it that I seen do this might have been Michigan Snow Pony or um, well, I can't remember but I didn't know that you had to do this step with um, a lot of the videos that I've watched they don't actually show this step um, and if you're storing your jars I believe this is true so don't hold me to gospel but if you're storing your jars with your bands on you need to get rid of the gunk in between the bands that's come out during processing and um, the rim so that you don't have food spoilage on the outside of your jar that could possibly contaminate the inside of the jar So 
think this cloth has just about had it too. It's got red stain all over it. There we go. Two down, four to go. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been fun. I can't wait to start something else. See you next time. Happy prepping.